Right now, Wisconsin's high court officially flips to a liberal majority with Justice Janet Protosewicz sworn in to the state Supreme Court. Today, an indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with conspiring to defraud the United States. And former President Donald Trump indicted by a grand jury for efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Plus, experts weigh in on how a local Marine may have died from carbon monoxide poisoning. We reveal the potential dangers of idling cars. It's all ahead on News 3 Now at 10. Ladies and gentlemen, our justice. For the first time in 15 years, the Wisconsin Supreme Court has flipped to a liberal majority as Janet Protosewicz was sworn in at the state capitol earlier this evening. Her joining the court will have far-reaching implications on state policy. Political reporter Will Keneally was at the capitol tonight for her swearing in and shares how the court's landscape has shifted. Today marked the swearing in of a justice elected during the height of the debate over the state's abortion ban, which became a central part of the campaign. What an awesome day for the state of Wisconsin. Hi, Janet Protasewicz. Today was the flip in the Wisconsin Supreme Court that liberals have been waiting for since they lost the majority in 2008. A flip intensified by the overturning of Roe v. Wade last summer. Abortion dominated the campaign this spring, with incoming Justice Janet Protasewicz rallying support among the state's liberals. You could hear part of that during her remarks today. I am committed to protecting our freedoms and I'm committed to fairness and impartiality in our justice system. This is a historic day. It is a day when not just a justice gets sworn in, but when justice returns to Wisconsin. We now have a state Supreme Court with a majority that is committed to the Constitution, the rule of law. It's a win for Democrats, who are likely also looking to overturn a series of policies from former Governor Scott Walker's years. Things like drawing new legislative maps, which they argue favor Republicans, or restoring collective bargaining rights for public employees. To my colleagues who are here today, I'm under no illusion that we will always agree, but I respect each of you immensely, and you have my promise to work with you to fulfill our duties to the people of Wisconsin. We'll likely see these cases make their way through the court system quickly, as liberals will have a majority on the high court for at least the next two years. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Right now, the Madison Common Council's meeting is still underway as it's set to vote on whether to implement that pilot program for all Madison police officers to wear body cameras. Here is a live look at the meeting. Last night, members of the Police Civilian Oversight Board met once more to discuss the potential program. Currently, only SWAT and motorcycle officers have body-worn cameras. Public comment on the program lasted just over an hour. The council will presumably cast the final vote on whether to authorize the Madison PD to begin the long-debated pilot program. Stay with Channel 3000 and news right now this morning to see if the council approves that body cam pilot program. A warm and calm night across southern Wisconsin. Temperatures expected to climb over the next few days, but just how warm will it get? Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with the answer in your first warm forecast. Well, it'll be pretty warm, but at this point, uh, the rain chances look to be pretty low, even though the humidity levels will be going up. As we start out by taking a look at the time lapse from the WIC TV Skycam, we had sunshine today, some cumulus clouds popped up in the afternoon, and even a few people saw a couple of showers east of Madison, but for the most part, it was a dry day. Doppler track shows some showers and thunderstorms up in northern Minnesota, some showers across parts of southern Iowa, but here in southern Wisconsin, a couple of sprinkles, uh, mainly north and east of Madison, those are fizzling out. Most of those are out over Lake Michigan. High temperatures today, mid-80s in much of southern Wisconsin. Madison hit 85. It was 86 in Boscobel, 85 in Lone Rock. Even Milwaukee hit 85, and La Crosse is at 87. Current temperatures are still well into the 70s. We're at 76 in Madison, 72 at the Baraboo Dells Airport, and 73 in Janesville. Across Dane County, 75 in Edgerton, 76 in Stoughton, and 70 degrees right now in Cross Plains. Look for skies to be variably cloudy overnight, a mix of clouds and some clear, uh, clear spots. Low temperature dropping to a mild 66 degrees. Looks like we'll see warm and humid weather for the next couple of days, but if we'll have any rain, we'll have to wait and see, probably till the weekend. 
I'll take a look at our forecast in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. Former President Trump has been indicted by a federal grand jury and special counsel Jack Smith's investigation into efforts to overturn the 2020 election. He faces four counts related to those efforts. Trump called the 45-page document a, quote, fake indictment on his social media platform, Truth Social, and accused Smith of prosecutorial misconduct. Trump and his associates' attempts to overturn the election led to the U.S. Capitol attack. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. As described in the indictment, it was fueled by lies. No, I, I want to thank him. The indictment was handed down in a federal courtroom late Tuesday and included six co-conspirators. Those co-conspirators have not been named, but CNN has identified five of them, including former Trump lawyers Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell. Trump has been summoned to appear before a magistrate judge on Thursday. The best hospital care is being done right here in Madison. UW hospitals, including University Hospital and East Madison Hospital, were named the best hospital in, in Wisconsin. U.S. News and World Report surveyed more than 5,000 hospitals nationwide to compile these rankings. The hospitals were also highly rated for procedures for patients 65 and older, some of which include hip replacement, knee replacement, and heart bypass surgery. The 12th year in a row now, the UW Hospitals has been honored as the best hospital in Wisconsin. SSM St. Mary's Hospital Madison was ranked fifth. There's a new tool for Wisconsin residents to get help with their mental health. The Department of Health Services has launched a phone line. It's calling Uplift Wisconsin to help people struggling with mental health and substance abuse. Anyone in need of someone to talk to can dial its new number. And on the other end of the line, a peer support provider will answer. Right now, help is available noon to midnight, but 24-7 operations are expected by the end of the year. And, of course, the service is free and confidential. The Uplift Helpline can be reached at the number you see right there on your screen, 534-202-5438. Investigators continue looking into the deaths of three U.S. Marines in North Carolina, including one from Verona. So far, officials say they died from carbon monoxide poisoning in a privately owned car parked at a gas station. It is a situation experts tell our Arman Rahman is rare and a bit baffling, but can in fact happen if you're not careful, Arma. That's right, Eric. The Consumer Product Safety Commission found non-fire deaths by carbon monoxide rose to 250 in 2019, an all-time high. Now, most were deaths inside a building. And after the deaths of these three Marines, experts say it's important to know what could cause a carbon monoxide leak in your vehicle. It's just a situation that's obviously very unfortunate and luckily kind of rare these days because of the way that vehicles are made. Rare, but not impossible, depending on the circumstances. The, the perfect storm would be is that somebody actually like takes a nap in a running vehicle, probably the maybe the air conditioning on with the circulation, and then they don't know because they're sleeping that there's exhaust leaking into the vehicle and they succumb to CO poisoning because of that. Officials haven't released a toxicology report or what might have happened leading up to the death of the three Marines among them. 19-year-old Tanner Coltenberg of Verona. Experts say they must have been asleep or passed out to not notice the signs of a carbon monoxide leak. That would make sense that there would be something, something that prevented them from, um, you know, picking up on those warning signs, some clanking noises that you hear when, when parts begin to separate or break, or you would even begin to smell the other components of the exhaust that that could alert you to the potential presence of, of carbon monoxide. But that might not be easy for the untrained eye to spot. So AAA says it's important to have a mechanic regularly inspect your vehicle to find any warning signs before they lead to a problem. Corrosion um, happening in, in certain parts of your undercarriage or in your engine that, you know, where if a break occurred, it would cause, you know, the exhaust to begin uh, filling into the cabin or at least even into the engine bay, which then could seep into the cabin. It's also important to know the early signs of carbon monoxide exposure. A severe headache, um, confusion, disorientation, uh, they start to feel very sleepy. Those are all indicators that there might be something in the air. And the Marines, who were Lance Corporals and motor vehicle operators, were all in their late teens and early 20s. Armand, thank you. Madison police officers say a woman is expected to survive an attack, which police say left a bloody scene on the city's west side. A 43-year-old woman has been arrested for this attack. Officers say she used a machete and miniature baseball bats to beat the victim. It happened inside a residence near the intersection of Whitney Way at Raymond Road. The woman was able to get outside, which is where officers found her, and now they're investigating what led to that attack. Officers commented on just how kind of 
you know, bloody the scene was. It was, you know, uh, just a chaotic scene when they arrived, you know, lots of things to process and collect. So for them, it's been, you know, a long evening. They're back at it again today, just trying to, again, figure out what exactly happened. You know, investigations take time, and that's the point we're at right now. Investigators believe the attack was targeted, but any potential motive remains unclear. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office sharing dash cam video tonight of a high-speed pursuit from last week, which ended with a sergeant using a pit maneuver to stop a vehicle. Authorities say the driver, 37-year-old Curtis Walker, took off during a traffic stop on the interstate near Westfield in Marquette County. An officer reportedly smelled marijuana, and when Walker was asked to step out of his vehicle, he took off. The suspect was able to avoid two tire deflation devices before a pursuit intervention technique or pit maneuver was used to disable the vehicle at the I-39 Highway 33 interchange just outside Portage. Police say drugs, guns, and cash were found inside the car. Walker, who lives in Janesville, was taken into custody on numerous drug-related charges. We're nearly a year away now from the 2024 fall primary election. It's still unclear who will challenge Wisconsin Democratic incumbent Senator Tammy Baldwin as she seeks a third term. Republican Congressman Tom Tiffany of the 7th Congressional District says he will not challenge Baldwin, instead running for re-election to stay in the House of Representatives representing northern Wisconsin. He follows Congressman Mike Gallagher, who also decided to pass back in June. All right, grab those Mega Millions tickets if you got them. Tonight's jackpot has soared to over a billion dollars. There are the winning numbers selected at the top of the hour. The jackpot winning ticket, numbers 8, 24, 30, 45, 61, and the gold mega ball is 12. The prize with a cash option of more than half a billion, 550.2 million. Now, in Wisconsin, after taxes, we're talking about $305 million. Now, just two weeks ago, a Powerball winning ticket sold out in California. Fetch someone $1.8 billion. If there's no winner, we'll do it all again on Friday night. More stories just ahead after a short break. A pair of lost hikers have their iPhones to thank for getting them rescued. How a special feature on the latest model can help you even without a cell signal. Stay with us. The last of summer will draw you in at Toyota's national sales event. It's like a magnet, but for people. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Your heart is the beat of life. If you have heart failure, entrust your heart to Entresto. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskiran, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor if Entresto is right for you. Want a tighter, flatter tummy and the hottest deal of the year? Then check out new Ab EX from Sonobello. After my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me self conscious. Emotionally, it was really sad. Feeling good up here, but you look down and you don't. After having my babies, it went in different direction. From here, it went to here, and I just couldn't get rid of that. Introducing Ab EX from Sonobello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. I got the tummy tuck results without the tummy tuck downtime. And I finally got the flat stomach I wanted. I'm able to get back in my size eight jeans. I feel sexy, I feel confident. It just it feels good to feel good and look good. Schedule your free no obligation consultation now and find out how to get your dream body on your budget with our best offer of the year. Call or go to sonobello.com and get exclusive access to our employee only pricing. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection is here 24 hours a day. Seven days a week for all your residential and commercial plumbing services. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, we've got you covered. Visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. The last of summer will draw you in at Toyota's national sales event. It's like a magnet, but for people. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Milo Vincent.
Vince Amelia is right at home on The Jennifer Hudson Show. Always nostalgic to be here at yeah. Warner Brothers, the studio that raised me. Causing trouble. What kind of trouble did you cause? Then a sing reunion with Tori Kelly. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. A big assist to an Apple iPhone for saving a pair of hikers in the mountains near Los Angeles. The mother and son got lost in the Angeles National Forest Sunday, said they ran out of water and found they had no cell signal, so they turned to a new feature on their iPhone that sent an SOS that relayed their satellite location to first responders. They simply answered a few prompted questions and were soon connected with rescuers. They had a kind of question about what's the issue. It was like water... A steep terrain and something else. So we just chose steep terrain because there was a dam that we just couldn't cross. And then it asked how many people and is anybody injured? And then it just sent all of that to the emergency services and opened a, an iMessage conversation with them. And this satellite feature is available on the iPhone 14. It's triggered when the user presses both side buttons. Rescuers say it's already saved multiple lives. Another Wisconsin neighbor is now selling recreational marijuana. Hundreds of customers traveled to Minnesota's Red Lake Reservation to buy marijuana at the first retail dispensary as recreational use became legal there. Minnesotans can now have up to two pounds of cannabis flour in their homes and transport up to two ounces in public. It'll take a while for dispensaries to get permitted as a state office charged with oversight and issuing business licenses is just in its infancy there. But the Red Lake Nation is sovereign, so it can set its own regulations. Customers there are happy they can now enjoy marijuana products recreational. And tribal leaders hope those coming in to make those purchases learn something about indigenous peoples and communities. How many states are already legalized? I just, it's just been sort of an absurd law. Too many people incarcerated. Really, this is more uh, than just selling cannabis. It's, it's actually a part of racial relationships, having people come to Red Lake that have heard all of these myths that are untrue. And we're just like any other community, come up and see us. Minnesota is now the 23rd state to legalize recreational use of marijuana. Plenty of summer left before the kids return to classrooms, but the Wisconsin Department of Justice is already getting ready for the upcoming school year. The Office of School Safety presented educators, administrators, and first responders with procedures and protocols to help reunite students with their families in the event of a crisis or emergency at school. There are six specific actions performed after an incident. Those are hold, secure, lockdown, evacuate, shelter, and reunify. Trainings like today's are meant to give both students and parents peace of mind that measures are in place to keep them safe at school. Students like to know that adults have a plan to keep them safe. Parents like to know that the school has a plan. They exercise it, they build muscle memory, they communicate it, and everyone is aware of the safety measures that the schools are taking place to keep our most vulnerable population safe. The Office of School Safety was not funded in the latest biennial budget without funding. It could run out of federal grants by later this year, although officials say they are confident they'll find a way to keep the office going. Some of the most fit athletes in the world are in Madison this week for the annual No Bull CrossFit Games. Today was the first of six days. This will be the last time the games are, will be held here in Madison as organizers are going elsewhere next year. Being a CrossFit athlete isn't easy. It incorporates elements from high-intensity interval training, powerlifting, and other exercises. Organizers say what's unique about CrossFit compared to other endurance and strength competitions is that they crown the overall most fit athlete in all sorts of disciplines. A CrossFit athlete may not be the strongest weightlifter in isolation. They may not be the fastest runner in isolation or the best gymnast. However, they come out on top and we test across a variety of domains both in the types of activities and in duration. This year's games run through Sunday at the Align Energy Center. And years past, it's been hot for the CrossFit Games. Very comfortable for those athletes right now. Well, the next couple of days are going to be hot, or not, not hot, but very warm and also more humid as uh, heat index readings could get into the 90s. Let's start out by taking a look at <coughs> what happened tonight. We had a, a couple of showers that developed just east of Madison and basically traveled right along the I-94 corridor. Most of these were pretty light, less than a, a tenth or two tenths of an inch of rain, although there was one heavier shower that dumped almost an inch of rain near uh, Johnson Creek and another one near Waukesha that dumped about uh, three quarters of an inch of rain. But you can see on high resolution radar, the last of the showers moving on out. Uh, this looks like a shower. It's actually not. That is a wind farm uh, that's being detected by the Doppler radar. But as we take a look at Doppler track 
across uh, the upper Midwest. There have been some showers and thunderstorms, even some severe weather for parts of Minnesota back into uh, North Dakota. But notice as those showers move into southern West, or into northern Wisconsin, they start to fizzle, and that's because the air loft is pretty warm, and so that just kind of dissipates the thunderstorm activity as it heads in our direction. Now we'll see additional chances for showers and thunderstorms over the weekend. Computer models have come up a little bit on the rainfall amounts, showing about an inch to maybe an inch and a half locally uh, through the weekend into uh, very early on Monday morning. And then while most of next week will be dry, there could be another chance for some showers and thunderstorms toward the end of the week, and that could bring an additional half inch to an inch of rain in some spots. So some areas may end up with about two inches or a little bit more over the next 10 days. Most areas probably between about an inch and an inch and a half, which is about average for this time of year. Three things you need to know in our forecast. High temperatures will be in the middle to upper 80s for the next couple of days. Uh, you factor in the humidity, it'll be humid and the uh, heat index readings could be up into the upper 80s to the lower to middle 90s. But the rain chances will remain very low because the air aloft will also be warm and that suppresses thunderstorm development. Be slight chances for showers and thunderstorms in the Friday through Monday time frame with the best chances probably Saturday night into Sunday. High temperatures today, pretty comfortable. Mid-80s in Madison, but with low humidity, it wasn't too bad. La Crosse hit 87, Eau Claire 84. Rhinelander stayed in the 70s, but to our south and west, the heat continues across Kansas. Triple-digit heat through much of the state. You can see 106 degrees for the high temperature in Wichita, Kansas. And thunderstorms continue to erupt on the northern periphery of that heat, but... The upper level winds kind of drive them toward the south and east. So these showers and storms up with a cold front kind of dissipate as they move into the warmer air aloft across Wisconsin. And notice to the south and west, those showers and storms are staying away from us. Tomorrow, look for a high temperature of 86, partly sunny, very warm, also a little more humid. Factor in the humidity, we're probably looking at heat index somewhere 97 to 92, or 87 to 92. As we look at uh, planning your day across Dane County, 85 for the high in Mount Vernon, 86 in DeForest with plenty of sunshine across the rest of southern Wisconsin, 83 for the high in Monroe, 80 87 in Baraboo, also 87 in Lone Rock. First one, 7 to 10 day forecast, 87 on Thursday, but right now, both Wednesday and Thursday should be dry. Friday, a slight chance for an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. Temperatures actually drop off a bit for the weekend with the best chances of showers and storms Saturday night into Sunday. Temperatures next week, mainly in the upper 70s, with another rain chance toward the end of the week. And coming up in sports, the Brewers even their series with the Nationals thanks to one big inning. The clutch hit that gave them the lead for good is next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We're busy. <laughs> I get it. So Stanton Optical works with your schedule. Buy online, pick up in-store same day, and get a free fitting. I mean, look at my to-do list. Skip the wait. Get your kids' glasses made the same day, only at Stanton Optical. We need to talk about Sonabello. We are getting rid of all of this, all of this today. Ladies, this summer you can cover up or feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello. One visit, permanent bat removal. Look at this shape. My tummy is gone and my hourglass shape is back. Wherever there is excess fat, we can remove it. That's what we do all day, every day. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good. I could actually wear a two piece after 25 years. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Now with our Best Body Summer event, you can schedule your free, no obligation consultation, plus save $250 off instantly. That's $250 off your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. Call 1-888-634-9939 or go to sonobello.com. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. See how available features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist make backing up as easy as turning a knob. Watch as Pro Power on board lights up the night. And Ford Blue Cruise makes driving even more fun. Now get a Ford F-150 XLT or Ford Lightning with 3.9% APR financing for 60 months plus 1,000 retail trade assist cash and 500 low APR cash. Dealing with insurance companies can be scary. Sometimes they act like bullies. But at Habish Habish and Rotier, our specialty is dealing with bullies. Our seasoned trial lawyers have chosen to use their skills to represent individuals, not corporations and insurance companies. 
From car accidents to nursing home abuse to product liability, we have the reputation to cut bullies down to size. Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Kids will be back in school before we know it, and we want to make sure they're ready. That's why Boys and Girls Clubs of Dane County and News 3 Now are collecting school supplies for area students. Monday, August 7th, please help us stuff the bus. We'll be right here at Metcalf's Market behind Westtown Mall. Just look for the school bus. Visit channel3000.com for details, and then stop by August 7th to help us stuff the bus. Sponsored by Midwest Financial Group, Lamers Bus Lines, and Metcalf's Market. At Stanton Optical, you get great value on eye care, including contacts. Right now, get a one-year supply of AccuView Oasis and an eye exam for only $189. Scan now to book your eye exam. Yay, technology! New and different. Two words that describe the Luke Fickle era of Wisconsin football. One of the new things they're doing is having the first week of fall camp at UW-Platteville. And as Andrew Banster found out, the location may be different, but the trip south is a blessing in disguise. Wisconsin football is back. I'm just ready to play football. Uh, so regardless of where that's at, it's exciting time. But unlike years past, the Luke Fickle era kicks off 71 miles south of Camp Randall. As you all know, we're, we're headed out of here today to Platteville. And no, I have not been to Platteville yet, in case you're wondering. And as for the rest of the team? I've never even heard of it until they told us we were gone. I still don't. <laughs> I still don't. I don't. I know it's like, what, west side of? Southwest. Southwest? Okay. I've heard of it, but, you know, I honestly couldn't even tell you where it's at. I haven't looked it up on a map or none yet. But while Platteville is unfamiliar, getting away from Madison for a week is a blessing in disguise. For one, it'll be all football all the time for Wisconsin. But even better, all the time they'll spend together will help the Badgers build a bond. We're going to be doing fall camp in Platteville, so all you got is football and each other, so... Uh, I don't think we have a choice but to get closer. When you talk to, to people who, are, who don't play college football anymore that used to, I think that's, that's what they miss the most is uh, the time with the guys. And that time with the guys does more than just create friendships. It's the foundation on which great teams are born. You know, when times get hard, you can lean on those bonds. You can lean on those relationships that you have. Um, it's a lot easier to challenge people or get the best out of people. So I think the more that you can get around the guys, you know, the better the team can be. And at the end of the day, these guys are just excited to play. I think it's going to be fun, man. It's kind of like sleepaway camp, which is in football. Whenever wherever, but starting in Platteville. In Madison, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Sports. Speaking of Wisconsin football, Muma Njung Mehta has been named to the Bronco Nagurski Trophy watch list. The award is given to the best defensive player in college football. Last season, the Badger inside linebacker led the team in tackles with 95. He also tallied 11 and a half TFLs and three and a half sacks. Brewers looking to even their series against the Nationals and the fourth inning was a good one. Tied at three, enter Joey Weimer. He goes shopping at the gap for a two RBI single. That caps off a four run frame for the crew. And gives them the lead for good. Brewers take it six to four, the final. We're back after this. What drives you? Drive for Lamers. Our kids need us. I felt like I needed to do something good for my community. Call or visit GoLamers.com for more information. And I'm getting paid for it. Lamers Bus Lines. Our community needs you. Get up to 56% off list at our huge 56th anniversary sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals. Plus, enter to win a free car. It doesn't get any better than this. Amazing deals on living rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and more. Oh, did we mention totally free shipping with no minimum? Up to 56% off list, 56th anniversary sale, and someone's walking away with a free car at Slumberland Furniture. It's a big deal. We're the Packers Scratch Game crew, bringing back Packers Scratch Games for you. The pack is back, new Scratch Games are here, with four season tickets you could win for a year. There's instant cash prizes and other bonus drawing surprises. The Scratch Games are back with instant cash prizes up to $30,000 and a bonus drawing for four season tickets for one year. Prices range from $1 to $10. Available now at all Wisconsin lottery retailers. We're not kidding. Somebody will be winning four season tickets for a year. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. See how available features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist make backing up as easy as turning a knob. Watch as Pro Power on board lights up the night. 
And Ford Blue Cruise makes driving even more fun. Now get a Ford F-150 XLT or Ford Lightning with 3.9% APR financing for 60 months plus 1,000 retail trade assist cash and 500 low APR cash. When it's time to remodel your home, lean on the experts at Brothers Maine for all things appliances. As Madison and Janesville's local appliance authority since 1938, our experienced staff will make your project easy from concept to completion. Better than big box, Brothers Maine has a larger selection, lower prices, and professional advice to bring your vision to life. On time and on budget, from sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases and feel like family at Brothers Maine. Spectrum brings us Spectrum One, where Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and Unlimited Mobile come together to keep you seamlessly connected wherever you are! Why did you switch? With Spectrum One, we get a super fast, reliable connection. And the Advanced Wi-Fi has enhanced security and privacy features that <laughs> automatically block online threats. How reliable is Spectrum Mobile? It's a super reliable service coast to coast. Switch to Spectrum One and get internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile. Call 1-833-685-4999. I was looking for a way to make a difference, and I found it. I was nervous that I couldn't handle a school bus, but Lamers made it easy. Lamers taught me everything I needed to know, and now I'm loving it. No experience necessary. Call or visit GoLamers.com today. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. NASA is getting into the streaming wars because you needed another streaming service. That's right, NASA. The space agency released this new trailer for its first on-demand streaming service called NASA Plus, which will be free. NASA says the family-friendly service will feature the agency's live streams, collections of its original video series, and some new series just for streaming. The service is slated to launch later this year, available on the web and on most major platforms, including Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV, giant leap for streamers, Gary. I always watch uh, NASA TV, especially when there's a launch. Yeah, uh, you can so. see some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, so uh, good, good for them. Well, right now we've got uh, clear skies or partly cloudy skies here in Madison. Uh, clear in some spots, more clouds in others. In fact, there have been a few sprinkles over uh, parts of east central Wisconsin. Most of those showers now out over Lake Michigan and moving away from southern Wisconsin. Current temperatures are pretty mild. 76 Madison, 72 in Janesville. Here in Dane County, uh, 71 in Cross Plains, 77 in Sun Prairie, and 74 in Deerfield. Look for skies to be variably cloudy overnight with a low temperature of about 66. High tomorrow, 86. A little more humidity. You'll feel like 87. To 92. All right, Gary, thank you, and thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Have a great night.